As far as rivalries go, Chiefs Broncos has not been much of one lately. 16 straight to the Kansas City Chiefs side. It did not go quite the planned in the Mile High City. A 24 to 9 handling of Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes threw two picks in this game, and the offense never really got started. Chris Clark from Locked On Chiefs joins me now. And Chris, we have done this a bunch of times over the years. And it's hard to remember a game that we've talked about where the offense looked like this. What happened? Uh, it's five turnovers. I mean, I really don't know how else to really say it. I mean, you turn the ball over five times, you're not going to win that game. And, you know, four of them were on the offense. One was on special teams. But, you know, Kansas City finally gets a stop on in the third quarter and they punt the ball and McCall Hardman fumbles the ball back, right back to the Broncos and they score a touchdown off of it. I mean, that was the way the game went. And I – I actually was watching, you know, the game with some friends, and I said, I'm actually kind of glad that they got a touchdown there because on that play, they got a holding call on them as well. So I'm thinking, okay, well, it's good they got the touchdown because now they're going to have more time. Didn't seem to matter. Kansas City really couldn't do anything on offense the entire game. And it's, uh, I wouldn't say, I'm not really surprised, I guess I would say, just because Denver's always played them tough. I think what really surprised me more than anything was that the Chiefs couldn't get the, de- couldn't get the Denver offense off the field. I wanted to ask you about that because this was a game that Russell Wilson didn't have to do a ton, but he did throw three touchdowns in this one. Javante Williams, also a big story here. And this was a game that we just saw a couple weeks ago and they held Russell Wilson. The chiefs did to under a hundred yards passing. He didn't have that much more, but was certainly more efficient with his opportunities. What do you, what do you think changed in just a few weeks here? Well, to be fair, I mean, I still think he didn't play very well. I think that he did enough, obviously three touchdowns. That's great. But do, did he do enough? There were other times he missed wide receivers that were wide open. So uh, the Chiefs had six sacks on the day. I think that you look at that and, you know, anytime that you're going to have six sacks against the quarterback, you probably should be winning the game. But the problem was, I mean, Denver started on Kansas City side of the field, I think four or five of their drives. I mean, you can't mm. continually put yourself in that situation where your defense is going up against uh, a team like that, especially somebody who's just going to try to run the ball. That's all Denver was wanting to do was run the ball. Uh, use Javante Williams, use McLaughlin, and try to you know run and wear out the Chiefs defense. And I think that's really what happened. So moving forward here for Kansas City, I mean they're they're still six and two, but have not looked their normal dominating self. So what do you think they can change? Um, and do they need to think, hey, uh, Devontae Adams might be out there. Maybe the Raiders aren't going to trade him. But there there could be some options out there if they needed to feel like they could get this offense jump started a little bit. What can they change here? Well, I think that there's several things that they need to change. And, and maybe a trade is one of them. Maybe they need to be looking for a trade. But, it's, you know, I just got done talking about this on the podcast is, you know, they go up against the Denver or sorry, not Denver, the Miami Dolphins on Sunday in Germany. And what they need to do in Germany against the Dolphins is they need to take their defense needs to go out and slap the Dolphins offense in the mouth. The reason the Dolphins have lost twice is because somebody goes out and plays physical with them and they out physical the Dolphins. Well, the problem is they lost Nick Bolton to injured reserve for two months. And he is the heart and soul of the defense when it comes to run defense and being in the middle of the field. And I really think they missed his presence on Sunday. Uh, When you talk, start talking about the offense, they're getting open at times. Uh, Mahomes is, you know, hitting him at times. But again, you know, I think if you go back and you watch this game today, if they just don't turn the ball over as much as they turn the ball over, and, and it wasn't just the Mahomes pick, it was the two fumbles. Uh, you know, you get a fumble to MVS, and then you get a fumble of Mahomes in the red zone. If they don't do those two plays, they probably score at least three points there, if not a touchdown. Uh, but the red zone offense has been horrible and you got to get past it. I think they were one for seven against the Broncos in two games. You're not going to win like that. 